this morning, I want to ask you to turn with me in your Bible to the book of Genesis chapter 2. Genesis chapter 2, and we're going to start reading from verse 4, and this is what it says. It says, this is the account of the heavens and the earth when they were created, when the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Now, no shrub had yet appeared on the earth, and no plant had yet sprung up, for the Lord God had not sent rain on the earth, and there was no one to work the ground. But streams came up from the earth and watered the whole surface of the ground. Then the Lord God formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living being. Now the Lord God had planted a garden in the east, in Eden, and there he put the man he had formed. The Lord God made all kinds of trees grow out of the ground, trees that were pleasing to the eye and good for food. And in the middle of the garden were the tree of life and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. Verse 15, And the Lord took the man and put him in the garden of Eden to work it and take care of it. And he commanded the man, You are free to eat from any tree in the garden, but you must not eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. For when you eat from it, you will certainly die. This morning we want to think through and think about the pleasures that God has created for us. When God created Adam and, and later on we read that he took a rib out of Adam and he created Eve. He placed him in this garden of Eden, both Adam and Eve. And they were to have lived blissfully. We know this very well. When God gave Adam and Eve that soul, he, he formed him from the dust of the ground and breathed life into his nostrils. He actually gave him a part of himself. Our soul distinguishes us as children of God from the world. Adam and Eve were distinguished from everything else that God had created. Because God had breathed his life, his very breath he had breathed into them. And so they were truly created in his own image and in his own likeness. They were created to live like they were truly children of God, not even adopted. They were created. They were not adopted, if you recall. But yet we also notice as we read later on, and I want to ask you to spend some time and go back and read Genesis chapter 2 and 3 all over again. We also noticed that someone else, was at the party uninvited he was God had not created Adam and Eve to have Satan be in the garden as well that was the furthest thing from his mind he was an uninvited guest in the garden of Eden he didn't belong there he was not wanted there. God had no intent whatsoever for Satan to be in that garden. But yet he slithered in as a snake into God's garden. And he infected God's children. I want to let you know today that when you are a child of God, hallelujah, when God cleansed you and washed you and redeemed you through the blood of Jesus, that he has no intent whatsoever for Satan to be part of that redemption. He has no intent whatsoever for Satan to be invited into your life, into your body, into the temple of the Holy Ghost. There's no room for this uninvited guest. 
And yet we find that many times that the enemy will slither in. The enemy will creep in into the lives of God's children and wreak havoc. And so we have to recognize today that even when Adam hid from God, he took a fall in that Garden of Eden. He allowed the enemy, both him and Eve, Eve is equally responsible. They're both to blame today. Although Adam took a fall, yet Jesus Christ took a stand. Hallelujah. Adam took the fall, but Jesus took the stand. He took a stand for us. And so, because he came back and Jesus came back and gave us a second chance, Hallelujah. It means that he has given us another opportunity for us to say, we're not going to allow the enemy to slither in. We can't allow the devil to come back and take what the Lord has promised us, what he has given us. He has given us a second chance to the redemption, to the shedding of his blood. He has given us this chance this morning. Are we allowing the enemy to slither in and to rob us of our joy, to rob us of our peace? You see, in Eden, Satan led Adam to a tree that led to death. I want to let you know today what it is, that second chance that I'm talking about. The tree that Satan led Adam to, led to his death. Hallelujah. But in Gethsemane, I want to let you know this morning that Jesus went to that a tree that he went to. It led to life. The tree that Satan led Adam to, led to death. The tree that on Gethsemane, that Jesus went to, it led to life today. And so we know that we can have a new hope. We know that we can have new life when we go to Jesus. Satan had absolutely no chance whatsoever to infect that tree. The tree that Jesus died upon was for you and for me. And he's saying, come. Come and receive of that tree of life. Come to me. Come and and don't allow the enemy to slither in. Don't allow the enemy to speak all sorts of lies into your ears. Do you know that the the enemy will not leave you alone? Just like Jesus himself was tempted by the enemy. But we have to know that we've already taken of that tree of life. We've already been washed by the blood of Jesus. We've already accepted him into our lives. And so we cannot accept that uninvited guest. We cannot accept the enemy. We cannot allow him to have dominion over our lives. That mistake was made back then when Adam and Eve sinned. But now we have life and we have Abundant life in Christ Jesus. And so we can't allow the enemy to tell us that we're not healed. We can't allow allow the enemy to tell us that we are filled with sin, that, that we are condemned to die. We can't allow the enemy to tell us that we have lack and that we will always dwell in lack. We can't allow the enemy to tell us this morning. That we have no hope. That we are destined for a life of misery. We can't allow the enemy to slither in. Into our lives. One chance was enough. He already did his damage. Back then. But Jesus Christ came and. He repaired that damage. For you and for me. Hallelujah. Damage repaired and paid in full. By the blood of Jesus. That flowed on Calvary. And so this morning. Hallelujah. We can claim our authority. 
in Christ Jesus. Adam and Eve were weakened when they disobeyed God, when they listened to the wiles of the enemy. In fact, they were ashamed and they ran and they tried to hide from God. I want to remind you that there is no place that we can hide from God. We read that Psalm 139 this morning, you know, the worship part of, of, of this session. It says, where can I hide, hide from your spirit? If I ascend up into heaven, you are there. If I go down into the uttermost parts of the earth, you are there. There's no place that we can hide from God. Adam and Eve could not hide from him either. They were so ashamed that they decided that they were going to hide or try to hide from, from him. But I want to let you know this morning that Christ already took on that shame. He already took on the blame for us today. He already took on the misery of our sin upon the cross. When he hung from that tree, he took it all for us. And so today, hallelujah, we don't need to be ashamed anymore. We don't need to be embarrassed of who we are because Christ has made us joint ears with him, ears and joint ears with Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We don't need to feel weak anymore because we are more than conquerors for Christ Jesus who loved us. We don't need to feel ashamed anymore because he's already taken on the shame for us. We don't need to feel guilty anymore because he took on that atonement of our sins for us. And so if we allow all of those things to be crucified with Christ Jesus, there will be no room for the enemy to creep in. No room. The enemy was able to creep in because there was an opening. I want to let you know today that when you receive the power of the death of Jesus Christ in your life. When you receive that new tree of life in your life. Hallelujah. That uninvited guest has no choice but to leave. Hallelujah. I want you to think just for a moment. Is Satan an uninvited guest in your life? We don't want any uninvited guests around us. We can we can tell the enemy that he ought to flee. Hallelujah. All we have to do is just call on the name of Jesus. No uninvited guests in our lives this morning. In the name of Jesus. And so if you feel like your life has been miserable, if you feel like the enemy has been under attack, you need to let the enemy know this morning that he has no place in your life. You've got to take that authority. If somebody walks into your home and you don't want that person there, you're not just going to sit there and watch that person roam around your house and wreak havoc. You're going to ask that person to leave. And if you feel that the person is a threat, you're going to call the police. You're going to ask them to leave. You're going to make force them to leave. We are to force the enemy to leave. Many of us have allowed this uninvited guest to come in. And guess what? He's wreaking havoc. Causing all kinds of pain. Causing all, all kinds of disruption in our lives. And we have a phone line directly to Jesus that we're not using. If it was a, any other uninvited guests in your home, you would call the authorities and you would ask the authorities to remove that person. But yet we have the greatest authority of all that we can call upon, the name of Jesus, 
a direct connection to him this morning. And so therefore we cannot allow the enemy to take reign, to take dominion over our lives today. We need to make that call this morning. We need to command that uninvited guest to leave right away. Not for another moment can we stand to have this guest around us that is so unwelcome in our homes, unwelcome in our lives. We need to take authority this morning. We need to dial up to Jesus this morning. And we need to cast out this uninvited guest. In our homes, we need to cast out this uninvited guest. This guest has come and taken position in your place of work. You need to cast out this uninvited guest. Remember, you have that authority. You have that phone line. Hallelujah. Open 24-7 to Jesus. All you have to do is to call upon his name to cast out that uninvited guest today. He's not welcome. I don't know about you, but the enemy is not welcome in my home. The enemy is not welcome in my thoughts. He's not welcome. He has to go. He's trampled under my feet by the blood of the Lamb. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the word of my testimony. So if you have an unwelcome guest, this unwelcome guest is in your home today, you got to cast out that unwelcome guest in the name of Jesus. He was not welcome in the Garden of Eden. He was also not welcome in heaven. Whenever God is around, this enemy is not welcome. He's not welcome. I want you to command that enemy that has taken possession, has taken a spot, a permanent spot in your home, maybe it's in your body, that enemy is wreaking havoc today. You've got to let him know. You take authority in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And let him know that he is not welcome. He's not welcome. He's not welcome amongst our children. He's not welcome in the name of Jesus. And so we're casting him out. Hallelujah. We have made that phone call. Hallelujah. To get the authority that we need today in the name of Jesus. And Jesus has answered you this morning. At the instant you call upon his name, Hallelujah. There's, there's that divine connection. And so therefore you have the authority. Somebody needs to uninvite that guest from your home. Uninvite that guest in your place of work. Uninvite that guest. In fact, that guest has become so permanent, that demonic spirit, that he has even taken his rightful place. He's taken his place in our thoughts. I say rightful place because we allow it to be a rightful place. It's time to let him know that he has no place in our thoughts. No place whatsoever. There's no room. He's uninvited in the name of Jesus. Uninvited. Well, let's uninvite him this morning. We're going to dial up the phone line to Jesus. Hallelujah. We have obtained that authority to remove that guest from our lives. Hallelujah. To remove him from our thoughts. Remove him from amongst our loved ones, from our families. Especially now the enemy is, is just raving back and forth, to and fro. Too much disruption among families right now. In, in this season of pandemic when families are not able to get together and so many um, uh, thoughts and impressions are being made just by misinterpretation and all sorts of miscommunication. By telephone. The enemy is not invited today amongst our families. The enemy is not invited. You've got to let them know this morning. You're uninvited. You are not welcome here. Devil, you are not welcome in this place. You are not welcome here. I take authority by the blood of Jesus. I speak over your life, children of God, right now. In the name of Jesus, that you have also obtained that very authority. When you call upon the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And therefore Satan the enemy has no dominion over you. No dominion over your household. No dominion over your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. In, as you take authority this morning. In the name of Jesus we cast out every spirit that is not of God. In the name of Jesus we cast down every vain imagination. That is not of God in the name of Jesus. And we take authority from this moment forward. 
of our lives. We take authority in the name of Jesus of our homes. In the name of Jesus, we take authority today by the power of the blood of Jesus, by the power of the blood that flowed on Calvary. We take authority this morning and we say, devil, you are not welcome here. Not welcome. Devil, you are not welcome in this ministry. You are not welcome. On this line, you are not welcome. We cast you out. You are not welcome here. In the mighty name of Jesus, we take authority. We take authority today in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for you. I want to pray that God will give you that authority that you need this morning. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, that strength, so that when the enemy wants to come in, you know that you have this dial-up connection. You may have cast him out today, but let me tell you something. The enemy does not just give up. He's going to continue to try to attack you. And you, you have to know this morning. You have to be able to recognize when it's an attack of the enemy. Just as he attacked Eve and Eve was unawares. And, and Adam, they, they, they ate of that apple that they were not supposed to. We need to take authority this morning. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And, and when we take that authority, when we are aware, when we are cognizant, we will continuously drive the enemy out of our lives and out of our surroundings. I want to pray for you this morning. Hallelujah. The scripture tells us in Matthew 18 and 18, it says, Whatsoever it is that we bind on earth is bound in heaven. And whatsoever it is that we loose on earth is also loose in heaven. This morning, you want to have that authority that we just learned about. You don't want the enemy anywhere near you, anywhere near your household. In the name of Jesus We want to pray for you that you will claim that authority, that you will receive that authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Luke 10 and 19 tells us that, he says, Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. You've got to claim that authority this morning in the name of Jesus. He says, Nothing shall hurt you. Because you have that authority today. And many of us have been walking around in weakness with no authority. Allowing the enemy to just wreak havoc in our lives. Because we are not taking that authority. This morning we're going to claim it. I want to pray for you. Dial star five to raise your hand. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord God, we are standing on Luke 10 and 19. This morning, Father. Lord, we take authority over every serpent, every, over every scorpion, over all powers of the enemy. Lord, we receive that authority from you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I pray for every hand that is lifted, even at this time. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I pray, oh God, that you will renew, that you will invigorate, that you will strengthen your children today. So that, Lord, that they may walk in the authority that you have released upon their lives. In the name of Jesus. Lord, we uninvite that serpent. We uninvite that scorpion that has slithered in, that has crept in into our lives this morning. In the name of Jesus. We cast them out. We bind every spirit that is not of you. In the name of Jesus. And we declare that there is freedom. We declare, Lord God, that there is once more joy. That there is peace. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. For that which you have performed. In our lives today. In Jesus' mighty name. We have prayed. And let the children of God say, go ahead and say, Amen. Claim it, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. You have received your authority today in the name of Jesus. And you're going to step out into the day knowing that you have the authority to tread on serpents and scorpions 
and over the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. Hallelujah. So you're going to declare and decree with me as we stand on Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 this morning. We're going to stand on that word of God as it has been spoken. We will we apply it into our lives today in the name of Jesus. We're going to take authority. Anybody ready to take authority with me this morning? So therefore we are standing today in the mighty name of Jesus. We are standing on Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. You can dial star 5 to raise your hand. Pastor Avanel, hallelujah. I receive the authority as I stand on Luke 10 and 19 to tread on serpents, on scorpions, over all powers of the enemy. It will not harm me. It will not harm my home. It will not harm my children. It will not harm my spouse. In the name of Jesus, nothing will harm this ministry. In the name of Jesus, I take the authority. I receive that authority in the mighty name of Jesus to tread on serpents, on scorpions, and over the power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt me. I'm taking authority this morning. Star 5 to raise your hand. We are standing on Luke chapter 10 and verse 19. We are taking authority today in the name of Jesus. We are, we are receiving that power that has been given unto us to tread on serpents, on scorpions, over the power of the enemy, and nothing will harm us. Hallelujah. Because we are taking that authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Luke 10 and 19. Luke 10 and 19. Somebody's going to take that authority. You're going to claim it. You're going to speak it out. Now, star five to raise your hand. Pastor Avanel, I'm taking authority. Hallelujah. Over serpents, over scorpions, over every power of the enemy by the blood of Jesus. And nothing will harm me today. Nothing will harm my household. Star five, star five to raise your hand. Go ahead, my sister Dolores. A greetings, Pastor, and everyone on the line. I declare and decree today that I am to, uh, Luke 19. Um, 10 and 19. 19. 10 and 19. I, uh, I have the authority to trample on the serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me, my daughter, Natasha, um, my grandkids, Jaden and Carter, and my siblings, especially for Robert. This is especially for him. In Jesus' name I pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, that authority that has been given unto you, it is released into your life. Hallelujah. You will tread on scorpions. You will tread on serpents. You will tread all over the power of the enemy. Hallelujah. And absolutely nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm your children. Nothing will harm your household. In the mighty name of Jesus, we stand in agreement with you on Luke chapter 10 and verse 19 today. In Jesus' mighty name, as you take authority in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. It is done. It is completed. In Jesus' name. Yes, my sister Althea, go ahead. Good morning. Um, I, Althea, decree and declare that according to Luke 10, 19, that I stand and receive the authority to to trample over serpents, and absolutely nothing will harm me, my daughter, my household, my grandson, and the ministries that I, I belong to, in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I fear I stand in agreement with you this morning, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you have received the authority to tread on serpents, on scorpions, over the power of the enemy, and absolutely nothing will hurt you. In the name of Jesus. We are standing on Luke 10 and 19 this morning as we receive that authority to tread on scorpions, to tread on serpents, to tread all over the power of the enemy, and absolutely nothing will harm us. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen, amen. Go ahead. My sister Beverly, go ahead. Yes, good morning, Pastor Avenel. Um, uh, I declare the decree on um, Luke chapter 10, 19th verse, that I 
that I have power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt myself, my brother Titus, his wife, his children, and grandchildren. Amen, amen, amen. I stand in agreement with you, my sister Beverly. I am standing on Luke 10 and 19 for you and for your entire family in the name of Jesus, for your brother Titus in the name of Jesus. As you take authority today, hallelujah, over serpents and scorpions and over every power of the enemy, and nothing will hurt you. We are standing on Luke 10 and 19 for you and for your family. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, amen. Go ahead, Alicia. Good morning, Pastor Adonel. Good morning, everyone. I'm, I declare in the tree this morning, and I'm standing on Luke 10 and 19. I take authority. Uh, I'm sorry. I um, I give you, behold, I have given you the authority. I take the authority to trample on serpents serpent and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall hurt us. And I speak this over my daughters, over my son and his family, over my son-in-law Ray, over my granddaughters, over my household, over this ministry, over my brothers and sisters and all their family. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. I stand in agreement with you in the name of Jesus, Jesus. Alicia, as you have received that authority today in Jesus' mighty name to tread on serpents, to tread on scorpions, to walk all over the power of the enemy, to trample it under your feet. In the name of Jesus, and absolutely nothing will harm you. In Jesus' mighty name, as we stand together on Luke 10 and 19, Behold, I have given you authority to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall hurt you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Go ahead, Natasha. Good morning, everyone. I declare and decree I have received authority to tread on um, scorpions and serpents and I, and every power of the enemy and nothing by any means will hurt me, myself, my family, and my children in Jesus' name. Amen. It is confirmed, dear Tasha, in the mighty name of Jesus. God has given you that authority this morning. Tread on serpents, to tread on scorpions, to tread all over the power of the enemy, to trample the enemy under your feet, to cast them out. He's uninvited. In your home, in your surroundings, on your job, anywhere you go, in the name of Jesus. The enemy cannot dwell there because the enemy is an uninvited guest in the name of Jesus. And so, therefore, you have that authority in Jesus' mighty name to cast out the enemy from amongst you, to tread on scorpions and on serpents in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Go ahead, my sister Jason. Good morning, everyone on the prayer line. I declare this morning that I stand on God's word in Luke 10, verse 19, that I have received the power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy, and absolutely nothing shall by any means harm me. I receive that this morning for myself, my family, my children, my husband, my siblings, my mother, my church family, and everyone on this prayer line. And I declare it done in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It is done. It is complete. In the name of Jesus. You have that authority right now to tread on scorpions, to tread on serpents in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. To tread over every attempt, every trick of the enemy. You have received that authority today. As you stand on Luke 10 and 19, hallelujah, you will tread on serpents and scorpions over all powers of the enemy, and nothing will harm you, nothing will harm your family, your household, in the mighty name of Jesus. That authority belongs to you today, in Jesus' name. Go ahead, my sister Christina, take your authority. Good morning, everyone. I take the authority from the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, 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 and I stand on Luke 10, 19, uh, to stand on serpents and scorpions, and all the power of the enemy, and nothing is by any means hurt me or my children or my family in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We stand and touch and agree with you, my sister Christina, and for your entire family. 
in the name of Jesus, that you have received that authority in Jesus' name to tread on serpents and scorpions, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus, over every work of the enemy, the enemy has been weakened this morning and is trampled under your feet, in the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the blood, hallelujah, and nothing will harm you and your family, in Jesus' name, amen. Go ahead, Minister Stacy. Minister Stacy, go ahead. Yes. Stacy, you are you just muted yourself. Good morning. Go Pastor Good morning. can you hear me? Okay. Good yes. morning. I decree and declare according to Luke ten verses nineteen. I thank you, Lord, for giving me the authority over serpents and scorpions and to trample over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt me. My children, my grandchildren, my future seed, my family, my household, everyone connected to me, or my ministry, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. We take authority, hallelujah, over CJ's life right now, and absolutely nothing will hurt him. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We will tread on scorpions, on serpents, in the name of Jesus, on on CJ's behalf, in Jesus' name. Absolutely nothing will hurt him, no, nothing will harm him. We take authority over every trick, of every attempt of the enemy over his life. Nothing will hurt him in the mighty name of Jesus. We stand today in agreement in Jesus' name. Amen. We are standing on Luke 10 and 19 this morning. Go ahead, my sister. Uh, Anita, Aloha, go ahead, Anita. Pastor. Aloha, Pastor, my brother and sister in Christ. I declare and decree, Luke ten thirteen. I received the authority to tread on scorpions, serpents, and over every work of all the power of the enemy. In Jesus' name, amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, I stand in agreement with you today. In Jesus' name, Anita, that you have received the authority. You're standing on Luke 10 and 19 this morning. You have received that authority to tread on serpents and scorpions over the power of the enemy. And nothing shall hurt you, nothing shall hurt your family, your loved ones, your grandchildren, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Because that authority belongs to you today. And we give God all the glory and the honor and the praise. Amen. Go ahead, my sister, my sister Murdis. Go ahead. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, beloved saints. Um, I decree and declare Luke 10, verse 19. I thank the Lord for giving me the power and the authority to trample upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by in no means hurt, harm me, stop me, um, or become an obstacle over my life, over my daughters, Cherie and Cherise, Kristen and Kiara, over my two grandsons. Um, over this ministry, I, I just declare that over over the the um, the saints of God, over the body of Christ, I just declare and decree that in the name of Jesus, nothing, nothing in no way will be ever able to harm us on any side in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We stand in agreement with you in the mighty name of Jesus that nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm your children. Nothing will harm your loved ones in the mighty name of Jesus. As you take authority this morning in Jesus' mighty name, we declare it, we decree it over your life today in the name of Jesus. That nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm your children in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Authority belongs to you today. We are standing Mm -hmm. on the word of God. And we are claiming it today in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Bless the name of the Lord. I speak that over each person within the sound of my voice. Hallelujah. That nothing will harm you. Nothing will harm your lo- your children, your loved ones, your family, your spouse. Nothing will harm you today. Even as you step out in that authority, in the mighty name of Jesus, we call it done. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen and amen. I want to remind you this morning that we will have 
uh, a few more sessions coming up today. Today we are going to be having our Bible study, 7.30 p.m. this evening with Pastor Tim and Bobby, his wife, uh, Barbara. We also will be having the 12 noon session with Mother Ferdinand and our sister Victoria at 12 noon today. Wonderful, wonderful sessions. If you are able to join, that's all Eastern time. And of course, we are going to be having a repeat of the session of morning prayers at 8 a.m. Eastern time. That's in about 45 minutes. Um, 8 a.m. Eastern Time uh, today. Look forward to seeing you then. I also want to remind you that at, at the beginning of the month, uh, we want to make sure that we sow our tithes or offerings. Uh, we sow where we're being fed. Uh, you can give online, fulfillchurch.com, or you can uh, call or text us, 857-342-3440. You can use the Cash App, Zelle, or PayPal. Uh, office at wrcm.us or to our phone number 857-342-3440. At this time, I want to ask our sister Victoria to go ahead, my sister, and bless us uh, with your songs and prayers this morning. Go ahead, uh, my sister Victoria. Bless the name of the Lord. Victoria, you might be a mute. Okay, let us pray. Father, we just want to thank you for this wonderful session, God, that you have provided to us this morning, Lord, as we take authority, Lord, over every attempt of the enemy, Lord God, to slither into our lives, into our homes, into our families, Lord. We bind and cast out the enemy from amongst us, Lord. He's an unwelcome guest, an uninvited guest, Lord, and we tread him and trample him under our feet today by the authority of the power of the blood of Jesus. Lord, I pray, God, that this day will be a day of great testimony. This day will be a day, Lord God, of power and of strength for your children. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Again, if you have a prayer request, feel free to um, call or text us later on today, or we'll be on at the 8 a.m. session. We will take the prayer request. That's in only about 40 minutes or so. Um, and again, uh, dial in, let somebody else know as well. And uh, God bless you, everybody. We will be having the year end statements. They will be coming out. Uh, all of them will be out this week. Uh, so just be patient with us a little bit as we send us out. Have a wonderful, wonderful day today. God bless you. We love you. 